And Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin passed up by former President Donald Trump to be his vice presidential running mate. Trump instead tapping Ohio Senator J.D. Vance for the post. So why wasn't Youngkin chosen? Well, Virginia Tech political science professor Karen Holt says it's a variety of reasons, including the fact that Youngkin isn't a politically aligned person with Trump, not as fiery as Vance, and isn't as well known. Not just that Governor Youngkin is not a U.S. senator, but he also is not the author of a best-selling book, Hillbilly Elegy, that turned into a Netflix show and all of that. So those kinds of reasons may also have played into um, former President Trump's decision. Youngkin also losing favor in the eyes of Virginians. A new Virginia Commonwealth University poll shows a seven-point net decline in his approval. 50% approve of Youngkin's performance as governor, 39% disapprove. Now, that same poll showing support for President Biden in Virginia is declining. A new poll released by VCU shows former President Trump up by three points in the Commonwealth over President Biden. You can see that right there in the poll done at about the same time as the presidential debate where Biden had a terrible performance. I spoke to political experts who say this poll shows more of the writing on the wall. I've seen polls just in the past week from 11 other states, and pretty much they all show the same thing. Joe Biden is sinking. And in a state where President Biden won with 10 percentage points in 2020, the president seems to also be sinking in Virginia. A new VCU poll shows Biden with 36 percent of support, trailing former President Trump, who has 39 percent. Biden dropped from 42 percent support in a VCU poll in December. What this is, is a realization that the age of Joe Biden really is affecting his performance. And that was brought home to people in a dramatic way during the debate with Donald Trump. They realized we're not just looking at Joe Biden as he exists today. We've got to add four years and four years of deterioration. Even though Trump has a leg up in this VCU poll, experts say the poll says more about Biden than it does Trump. Because Virginia is not inclined toward Trump. They rejected him against Hillary Clinton by five points. They rejected Trump against Joe Biden by 10 points. They'll reject him a third time if they have a decent Democrat to vote for. The new poll showed 46 percent of black voters say they would vote for Biden, a major drop from the 67 percent of black voters in the last VCU poll. If it's competitive in Virginia, Joe Biden is losing and probably badly. Now, even though Trump is up, it doesn't necessarily mean smooth sailing for him. That same poll also showed 53% of Virginia voters say they're less likely to vote for Trump because of his conviction in the 34 felony counts case in New York. But 31% say they are more likely to vote for him because of that.